In the next few tutorials, we're going to start talking about composition and about using and understanding our media generators with Inside Vegas Pro. Now, the media generators panel is found here. There's a media generators panel. It's docked with the project media tab and the explorer tab. If you can't find it for some reason, perhaps it's shut down accidentally, you haven't got it. Remember that you can always get to your panels through the view menu. And then you're looking for the one that says media generators. Alt plus nine will actually get it for you. So there's the media generators and you can always readjust where they are by just dragging them around. So I want them at the end, which is pretty much the default layout. But just before we have a very brief chat about moving forward with composition and understanding what composition is, just want to show you a little trick. If you know that you have got a file on your computer that you're always accessing for the projects that you're working on, you can actually set them up so they will come up right at the top of your program inside libraries. And the way that's done is if you go down to your My Computer, which is either this item down here or Computer, and under Computer, if you actually navigate to the item that you're going to use, which is on my E drive, and it's Sony Vegas, and I find my Sony Vegas tab, and I right click on it, you'll see that I've got the ability to include in library, create new library. And when I click create new library, there inside my libraries is Sony Vegas. Okay, and I can shut it down because inside of it is the actual folder that we're looking at. So I can actually shut down my computer now. And inside of my Explorer, you can see it hasn't come up. But if I click the refresh view button and go back up to the top, you can see that I've now got the library for Sony Vegas, so I can shut down that drive that I've been getting to all the time and I can get to Sony Vegas directly through there and find all the different bits and pieces that I want, which was C houses and video. So just bear in mind that you can set up a library and of course you can always delete something from a library when you've finished with it, but it's just a quick way of navigating to things and saving them in an easy location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly drop a couple of items on my timeline. So I'm going to take this great surf lighthouse, right click drop it to my timeline and choose video only. Do you want to match the project settings? Yes, I do. So I'm just going to click yes. And then I've got a soft focus C and I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, drop it down here, video only, move across time. And I'm just going to have a few seconds of each of those. Now, compositing is when you take two items that weren't originally created together and form a third item from them, which is a mixture of the two of them and you have created a composite and of course it's possible to do very good composites and it's possible to do very bad composites. A simple example of compositing with these two would be for example to take the event pan crop, click on the mask button and then choose the ellipse say here and draw an ellipse around this lighthouse and you can see over here there's my lighthouse showing and of course I can move that around if I want to get a little bit better centered and under the path tab which if it's shut you can just open it you see I've got feather type none. I'm going to choose a feather out. Now the feather percentage, I'm just going to drag that up so that I've got a nice soft feather around the outside. So that has created a composition. Two items that originally didn't belong together have been brought together in my final project to be able to create something new, which is by definition a composition. However, this is very basic. There are lots more compositions we can do and using the media generators, we can certainly find all kinds of interesting ones. For example, simply adding text is a process of doing composition. So we've got titles and text here. We will be going through these in detail a bit later on. This is just a quick example. But if I drag that down to the top and let go and leave it saying sample text, there I've got another composite. So I've got text over the top of the C with the lighthouse in the background. They don't match. They might not look fantastic, but the truth is they're all there. That is a composite. And when you start looking at the different options that you have, you've got checkerboards and color gradients and credit rolls and all these sorts of different bits and pieces. We're going to go through these step by step, as I say, over the following tutorials. You can start to add these to your project and create compositions. But not only that, you can also take advantage of these little buttons here, which are to do with composition modes or compositing modes. Sometimes they're known as blend modes. And what they're going to do is they're going to blend one layer with another to create a new look entirely. And in the next tutorial, before we get on to dealing with all of these other bits and pieces, we're going to look at these composite modes and see exactly what they can do inside of Sony Vegas. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.